anxiety, worry. Sometimes I do. It's easy. We worry about our kids. We worry about our finances. We worry about our health. We worry about the future. Well, that's what we're going to talk about next on this Dave Early Ministries uh, broadcast. My name is Dave Early, and I'm here to teach the Bible in a way that will help you grow in your relationship with God in such a way that you'll be able to help other people. If you have not done it yet, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because that will allow you access to, to dozens of Bible teaching videos that will help you grow in your relationship with God and your ability to make disciples of others. Well, what's my go-to verse when I'm struggling with fear? It's found in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. If you have a go-to verse that you use when you are struggling with fear, write it in the comments. I'd love to see it. Well, Isaiah 41 10, this is what I remember when I'm struggling with fear. God says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, be not afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. What a great promise. Think about the four truths that are found in this promise that crush fear in our lives. The first one is this. God is with you. You don't have to go through this all by yourself. God is with you. He's right there. And it's not just anybody with you. It's God, infinite, almighty, all-knowing, all-wise God. God is with you. So if you're struggling with fear, first of all, remember, fear not, for God is with you. Then God says, Fear not, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Sometimes we're not, we look at the situation and we realize we're just not big enough to handle this problem. But I've got good news for you. God is. God is big enough. How big is God? Big enough to handle your problem. He's infinite. He's he, he, He's unbelievably big. He's so much bigger than your problem. Your problem that looks this big to you is like nothing to an infinite God. You don't have to be afraid. God is with you. You don't have to be afraid. God will strengthen you. He'll give you the strength that you need to face your problem. And then he says, I will help you. God will help you. He's not just going to be there. He's going to actively help you, not just help you do better, but help in the situation that, that is causing the problem. God can work. you got to trust Him. Fear not, for I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. And I will hold on to your right hand. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now, in those days, the right hand of a king was, was considered extremely important and powerful. It was the hand of authority. And God said, you know what, when you're struggling, when you feel like you're all alone, when it's dark, when you're confused, when you don't know how to take your next step, don't worry. Grab onto me, my righteous right hand. It has the power, it has the authority. Hang on to me and I'll get you through. I know when my kids were little, so often they get scared. They want to just come and hold your hand when you're walking through a big crowd or a dark place. That's what you can do with God right now. You can reach out to God right now and grab onto his hand, and he will hold on to you and take you through this situation that just seems so difficult and so overwhelming. I want to tell you a story about a young lady. She was a brand new Christian. She was struggling to get out of addiction in her own life. She just started going to a church. And she came home one night and uh, was walking to her apartment. And a man came out of the bushes and put a gun to her head and forced her to go inside. Now, she didn't realize at first, but she'd heard something on the radio about a man. He was an accused rapist. He would murdered four people and escaping out of uh, jail that day. His name was Brian Nichols. Her name was Ashley Smith. Well, she had a choice. She could respond in fear or could she, she could respond in faith. And they just talked about this, this verse and, and the fact that God helps us, God's with us, we can trust him. And so she began to calmly talk to him. And she talked to him all through the night. In the morning, she fixed him pancakes 
And by the morning, it was such that he was willing to let her go. And he came to understand that he needed to turn himself in and stop hurting people. Well, her life was spared. His life was spared. God did a wonderful thing because she did not give in to fear. And I want you to know, if that new Christian could not give in to fear, you cannot give in to fear today. God is bigger than your problem. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to share it. If you got some comments, make those at the bottom of the video. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so right away.